Then after we built it, she complained it was too ugly. Huh. If you ask me, the statue is far prettier than she is. Everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 7 of Spyro Year of the Dragon, part of the Reignited Trilogy. So, we're going to be doing my least favorite level in this world. Not my least favorite level in the game, but probably second. My least favorite level in the game actually comes in the next world, just because of how it's set up. So, and we have to do it fairly early on. We will probably be able to get to the next world in the next, next episode, because we'll do two levels in this episode, and stuff like that. So... We'll see what this guy's up to. Those crummy Rhinox forced us to build a statue of the sorceress. Then after we built it, she complained it was too ugly. Huh. If you ask me, the statue is far prettier than she is. <laughs> they made him feel less like hipsters in this game, like voice-wise, but they made him seem way more like hipsters look-wise, which is cool. These things are the annoying creatures. Because they fly up above you and they shoot fireballs and tend not to like to come down to your level. Which is why they have these little spitty rocks. But, Sergeant Bird is in this level and makes it a heck of a lot easier. I can't believe I got hit by that. To deal with them. Other than that, you just got like your generic big hammer enemies and stuff. One thing I'll give Spyro is... There's not a lot of creativity to the enemy choices. Like, some of them look really cool and are, like, a really unique, interesting design. But gameplay-wise, they're generally just all the same. Like, you got the hammer enemies, the enemies with projectiles. Like, I guess these guys are kind of cool because they come charging at you with their attack. And we already have our first egg over here, which is Gladys. We've had a lot of Gladyses in my family. Also, the background for this level is kind of just generic. It's like Wizard Peak, but worse. It was kind of like that in the original, too. It wasn't anything crazy unique. Alright, we got a rock for this guy, Dwayne the Rock Johnson here. Sir, are you gonna... There we go, you're dead. Now, I'm pretty sure... Oh, I guess it's not this section. I guess we gotta go up here first. There are going to be little secret alcoves in this level, so like for, like this for example. Where you can kind of like go over here and then glide around to the right side of the tower. And then this allows you to get to all of these gems here. But then you're probably noticing there's like lots of enemies that we can't kill. Well that's because like I said, Sergeant Bird is part of this level and it's not like... This level is really unique in one regard. It's a very short level, but it's also played by two characters, not just one. Like, here's the end of the level already, despite not actually being the end of the level. Wait, when did I pick up the, the spitty rock? Now oh, I did that just so I could apparently not kill him, because he's still hitting me, so that's great. Yeah, I get it. I know what I'm supposed to do. I wasn't supposed to talk to you yet. You're supposed to be the guy I talk to after I do everything. Wait, how come it picked up the gems like Sparks was picking them up, despite Sparks not actually being in range of picking them up? Because he was eating a butterfly? Alright, I think we... I think we have all the gems down here, right? It feels like we have all the gems down here. Wow, one green gem. Amazing. And you got a bunch more gems here. And then I guess we can torch this. And blow up the statue. Oh, I can't make that. Oh, there we go. Oops, I forgot I hid this egg inside the statue. I hope the explosion didn't hard boil it. Why do you sound sarcastic and peanut? Peanut's kind of a weird name, considering we go from human names to names like peanut after food, but sure. 56 eggs, that's not too bad. And now we can go down here, which is a pretty cool section of the level. We have a skateboarding level. So let's talk to Hunter. Isn't this the wildest oh, controller batteries are low? Seen? Once you've mastered a few tricks, you could really rack up a huge score in this place. What do you say I show you some moves? 
Sure, I just had to plug in my controller. At least I think it's plugged in. Is it plugged in? Let me let me just check for a second for you guys. Oh yeah, it's plugged in. It just didn't do the vibration like it does when it's supposed to be plugged Let's start in. Start with something easy. Okay, right, so we're not gonna go over all his dialogue because then it would just take a million years. Like like we, you just have to look at what button to press. So you just press jump. Okay. Now you can press the Y button to do a roll. Like remember, we already did the um the point challenge in the first skateboarding level, so we already know what to do. Oh wait, I did a front flip, not not a roll. I think the next one's a flip, right? Hey, nice! Yeah, now it's the flip. There's a little gnat that's bugging me in my room. Because they like plants. And then you can do it back or front, it doesn't matter. And then the half pipe. We already know how to do this, because we needed to know how to do this for the, the lizard challenge in the, the first level. I don't know why they didn't do like the lizard challenge here, and then do the... Uh, this challenge right, in the uh, first it. level. Now, now you gotta do what, three? Or is it two? <laughs> yeah, it's at least three, I'm pretty sure. Which is super easy to do. Now that would Alright, 500 points. Super, super, super easy to do. <gasps> you wanted to do that one? I'm gonna do this one! There we go, 2,000 wow, points, or I guess 4,000, really right? Well, Anyways, game. we have our first egg, Caroline, from the hit movie Caroline. This is better than Peanut. Alright. I think you're ready. And now we have to just score more points. So, as long as we can beat them in, in two minutes. So you do have a limited amount of points you can get. Like, right there, we have so many points. Like, look at that, like, we already have 5,700, and there is a secret one you can get here. Ugh. But why did I do the right one again? I meant to do the left one. I'll just rack up points that way. Apparently not, because the game was just like, how about no? Now I'll show you where... He only has 550 points, really. Is it this one? No, it's not this one. It's those towers over there, so we gotta go that way. So, we'll do this. So if you take this... Oh. Garbo. We didn't have enough momentum. But if you take those, you get extra points. We would have already beat the course record, too, by the way. Yeah, see, this, that's also just a free thousand points, which is insane. Now, which one's the one with the big ramp? Oh, we gotta go up here. So I'll just do the small points here. And then we'll do the f mega front flip over here. This is honestly, this is a really easy challenge. Like, there's nothing hard about this level at all. Yeah, we haven't done this one yet, so we'll do this. There is no way he's beating us, like, at all, man. Oh no, I broke my inky board. Now I can just go around and collect some of these gems while we wait, because... Let's be real, if he wasn't beating us before we even got to this amount of points... We just have way too many points for this guy to even, like, handle. Alright, done. I can't believe it! How did you get so good already? Who knows, maybe someday you'll even break my course record. Hmm, <laughs> nah. Anyway, mm. I guess I should give you this other egg I found. I was gonna keep it for a pet, but I can't get it to hatch. Alex. Yeah, see, we go back to normal names. <laughs> eh, farted. Anyways, um, yeah, course record, you say, huh? Well, it'd be a shame if, um, some dragon, you know, decided to beat your course record. Oh my god, that was bad. Like, we don't have enough momentum, that's the thing. Like, you have to have a lot of momentum for a lot of these. And that's the issue. Oh man. Okay, we can't- oh no, we got it, nice. Woohoo! Alright, we 
want the um, the big ramp here. So that way we can get the most points possible. So it's essentially just the same thing again that we just did, except without Hunter being part of it. Oh yeah, look at those points! Woo. And then we can just do it again. I think we have to get 10,000, or is it like 5,000? It's some really obscurely small number compared to how many points you can actually get in this level. Like, it's actually, it's actually insane. Wait, did I do the same one? I mean, no, I didn't. Ah, there we go. Ooh. And give me enough momentum. Nice. Yeah, we beat it, so now we can just go and grab some gems, because why not? So that took forever for those points to start adding up again, because I think we had gotten so many points that it just was having a hard time registering everything. Look at all these gems. Cash moolah money. Why do I always run into things to say when collecting gems in Spyro? Because I guess there's really not much to talk about, right? Because we're kind of just collecting gems. Do do do. Do do. Do do. Oh yeah, it was 10,000. We beat it by a whopping 4,000. Now, how many of the skill points do we have? Spooky Swamp and Frozen Altars. So, yeah, Spooky Swamp is next. And the Frozen Altars one, I'm going to be honest with you, is probably one of the most annoying challenges to get. Now, what was the way... Oh yeah, I used the ramp up there. Why did that do that? It just, like, stopped me and then... Like, nah. Sometimes this game makes no sense. Oh, uh, I just want all the gems, thanks, game. Oh no, are you kidding me that I'm gonna have to skateboard all the way up? Why do they still make everything slippery? Okay, right, so we're gonna need the... Oh yeah, it's still gonna be timed, which is annoying. Because who definitely wants to deal with time stuff? Yeah, this level is kind of annoying that way, but whatever. Ooh, oh, basquit, basquit, my son. Oh, uh -huh. basquit, power. I don't know why we're turning into a Frenchman, but you know, we we need to get all these gems. Wow, that's a zoomed-in close-up of Spiral's butt. Now, I'm pretty sure if we break the skateboard here, right, we can... Can we technically... Can we actually get up here? I think if you step on... No. You can't make it up there from that. Which How do we get up here then? Because... Wait, is that all the gems here? I think that was all the gems, right? Now he's pointing over here, which I'm pretty sure it's behind here. Yeah, I think we're finished. Right? Yeah, we're finished. Good, 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 good. Alrighty tidy. Now let's continue on with the level. So now we have to go over here. Did I just hear a guy having constipation issues? No, it was you. You have to click these bones again, like Spyro 2. What is with all the barking? Hopefully we don't pick too much of that up on the mic. Because holy for Jesus, you know. Definitely appreciate that, you know. Anyways, I think we can go over here now. Oh, I think I missed a ground poundy thing at the beginning of the level. Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh, I did. Yeah, you guys are not at all weird sounding. You're dead. Wait, are you all on the ground? Why are they all on the ground for? That's weird. Wait, how did you get... How did that miss you? Final! Why does he keep dodging it? He's like a smart one. No, no, not so much. 
Anyways, let's go do this challenge. So this one's kind of interesting. A guy lost his dog, so you have to escort his dog back home. Oh, it's just your typical, like, normal style level design, I guess. Nothing too fancy. It's gonna drop a ball that you have to use to do little obstacles. So, we just go up to... I believe his name's Farley. So, we'll grab Farley's ball here. And then we'll plant it right here. And then we'll just go over here and be able to flip the switch. I think it's progressively harder, despite not getting that hard. Alright, you're dead. For whatever reason, these guys are scared of a little tiny wolf dog. I'm not entirely sure why. They just are. And sucks to suck, like I've said before. Alright, and so for this one, you don't actually want to uh, get him to go on the platform. You want him to go over the platform while you... Well, over a platform while you stand on the button, I guess, is more so what you're really doing. Alright, we'll do that. Now, this one's kind of interesting, because... Technically speaking, you want to do this. Oh wait, no, never mind. Oh, whoops. Sorry, buddy. Oh, we almost didn't make that. That's essentially most of the challenge right there, just immediately done. Oh, he's gonna bark at this wall, and it's a dead end, I wonder why. Definitely not, because we can just, you know, go right through it. <laughs> the game really think that was gonna be much of a challenge, and just like that, we're done. You found Farley! How can I ever thank you? I mean, I could give you this old egg, but Farley's been chewing on it, and it's kind of slimy. Oh well, it's the thought that counts, right? Slobbery, Liz, Lies, I still don't know how to pronounce that name, but there's another egg. It'll be at 60 soon enough. So, I guess we're leaving, because I think we got all the gems there. Wait, what? Oh, it's one of the bone guys I'm hearing. So what you have to do now is you have to go in here. I'm ready to put And he just patrols the towers. So to get the rest of the bones and everything, you actually have to go here. And play the level as Sergeant Birdie Bird Birderson. Also, these bones have a really weird skinny hitbox. I guess because it makes sense because they're bones, but still. And he can kill the rest of these enemies that are out and about. Wait, what the heck gem did I just pick up? Well, did I actually kill that guy or not? Oh yeah, because they home in on random enemies. Like, it's random how it homes in like that. Kinda makes it clunky at some points. Oh, I hear you over here. Thank you for the bone bone head. Yeah, I forgot the, um, the smashy thingy right there. Which is annoying, but whatever. I can come back for it. We're probably only going to do this level in this episode. I thought we were going to be able to fit another... Another um, level in this episode, but doesn't seem like we're going to be able to. I know there's a guy flying around down here, right? Or am I just going crazy? I thought there was a guy flying down around there, but... I guess not. Fire... Hey, there's a bonehead just sitting right there. I actually don't know their names. I, every enemy in this game has a name, so... Yeah, but... Also, I heard another bone over there. It's probably gonna go for the guy on the ground. So we know where at least six are. Yeah, because the one right... Uh, was it this? Yeah, it was this one that we heard. When you have a headset on, it's actually really easy to figure out where all these guys are. Oh, hang on. I knew I seen somebody. And you're dead. Oh, there's another guy. Oh yeah, and this one has gems with him too. Oh yeah, and the other one's in a, like, cave-style door. Now which one was it? Um... I don't think it's these towers. 
What do I keep hearing in the back of my... Oh, wait, no, it's over here. It's right here. All right. Here, have this. I was going to keep it as a souvenir, but I don't have room in my luggage. All right, Ralph Wiggum or Ralph Wolf, maybe. I don't know. My friend. Oh yeah, and this exact same dance. They did it in both versions of the games. The modern day dance is just stupid. Now we need to go back to Sergeant J. Spyro. I'm ready to patrol. No. Wait, why does it say no? I'm off duty. Is it us speaking as Sergeant Bird? I never understood that one. That one always kind of baffled me why it was set up the way it was. But whatever. It's not like it's harmful to the game or anything like that. It's just, it's weird, you know? This should be the rest of the gems if we did everything correctly. And we're missing two gems, which... Wait, is that pointing down? I can't tell if it's pointing down to one of the enemies, because... Now, it doesn't feel like it's pointing down. Wait. You know, I can't be an enemy anymore, because it's a red gem. Wait. Hmm. Is it up top? I don't know. We'll have to see. I know. It's over there. Probably just a simple gem that I had missed. Cause I don't know, I don't really like this level a lot, so it's always... Oh wait, it's in the mini game. Weird. Okay, and it's down there. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. We beat that level, so that's out of the way. This is a 22 minute episode, just because this level sucks. It is one of the longer levels in the game, despite being relatively short, which I always found kind of funny. But anyways, now we can leave. Adios, level. And we're already finished episode 7, and we're only... We're not even halfway done the game yet. Because this is definitely the longer of the games. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon in the links below, and in the next episode, we'll be taking on the last two levels, which we should be able to do in one episode. It's Spooky Swamp and Bamboo Terrace. Bamboo Terrace is a really fun level. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.